Hello, Perry Peacock here with Wilderness Innovation. And uh, I wanted to show a few things um, out here uh, about our ponchos. Some helpful hints and tips on using them and getting the most out of your poncho. Um, so I want to show you, first of all today, shuttle sling that is the new, we did a white, we've eliminated now the whoopee sling, the whoopee sling 2. The shuttle sling does everything they do in a smaller size, smaller, less weight, easier to use, the whole nine yards. I do need to show you a little bit of how to set that up so that you'll know how to set up your poncho in a hammock using that setup. So here is the hammock kit for ponchos. Right here, these are the Dyneema slings. For all the ponchos except for the HD, this 10 inch set is the right set. Now if you have an HD poncho, then you need that there's a set that's 24 inches long. Now these are the uh, shuttle slings for hanging your poncho up as a hammock to a tree. You also get uh, two, two four foot tree, uh, uh, tree straps. You get two of the Easton aluminum tent stakes. Same tent stakes we use with our, uh, with our tarp setup. We're using these in this case like a marlin spike. Uh, to hook the, the two parts together. So here's the shuttle sling. And so if you look at it, you see there's two parts to it. This, uh, the blue part is the shuttle, and it slides up and down or back and forth on the static line. They're both made out of the same Dyneema cord, 2,500 20, pound uh, load rating and so and I'll show you how this works but so basically this is just a, a pulling end right there on the shuttle opposite of that is a loop right here and that loop is where you'll connect to your poncho to set up as a hammock I'm on a down slope so I'm going to hang this a little bit low on this side and so all we do is take an end here and put it through Pull that out, and that's all it, that's all it takes right there. All right, so I brought along uh, one of the ponchos with me. I, I normally use any one of our regular ponchos, but in my backpack I always keep one of the Super UL, Super Ultralight ponchos in there. Just because it's really small, you don't even notice it's in there and it's really light. And um, I just keep it in there just for backup mostly. But anyway, but I'm just going to show you how to how to set up this poncho as a as a hammock right here. The uh, Dyneema runners. Uh, it's got it's sewn over double right here, which makes that pretty stiff. So what I do is I use take advantage of the stiffness to enable me to shove it through okay. the poncho really easily. So right at, at each end, the head and the foot of the poncho, you'll see there's a tube sewn in here. And that tube right there is, is where we slide our cordage, parachute cordage if you're using that or if you're using the hammock kits. And you shove that in there. Now what I do is put my little finger through one end of this because I don't want to get it in here and have the other end pull out. You just you just uh, shoving some of that sleeve over top of that stiffer end. And every so often you just pull back some of it. And you notice I'm going to take my glove off so you can maybe see a little better, but. But I just wanted to show you, you can even do this with gloves, it's not, it's not difficult. Now it's a little harder to do with the HD ponchos, because the fabric's, you know, a little stiffer. There we are, pulled all the way through. Now when I first pull it through, I'll, I'll do just kind of like that, just so it doesn't pull out while I do the other end. Okay, so here's the eye of the shuttle sling, 
Now normally this will all be in black, but I, like I say, I made this up in, I made the shuttle up in blue, just so you could see the difference. So now all I do is shove the eye of the shuttle sling through both. I, sh I like to shove it through both of the ends of the runner. So you just shove that spike through there. And then I just uh, flip that little elastic right, shock cord around there. So there's how, there's how each end will be, is like that. Okay, so here I am connected. I got my other end connected. Now I just grab the static end and start pulling on it and it's pulling through. Well, it's causing the shuttle, you can see. It's causing the, causing the shuttle part to slide up on the static part. You see, wherever I let go at, it's done. I'm not tying, untying knots. I'm not making other kind of adjustments. If I need to let it off a little bit, it's that simple. If I need to tighten it up a little, I just pull up like that. If I need to undo this, all I do literally, okay, I'm undone. Now you may, now you may ask, well, what's the point of the shock cording on the spike? Well, one reason is because we make them like this and sell them with our, as an option with our tarps or with our tarp kit for ponchos. But here's the other thing, because that's on there and I've wrapped it underneath, this, this spike can't, not that it's going to do it anyway, but it can't, it can't just fall out of here. You know, it just hits the end there and it can't really go any farther. All right, so, so I've now adjusted and now I can just, now I can just get in here and relax. Good to go. You always use your poncho for something. You'll either use it for a hammock or a poncho or a tarp or something. You're never going to carry this thing without using it for something. Alright, so here's the Dyneema runners for the HD ponchos. See the other, the others were 10 inches, these are 24. And uh, you need the 24 just because the HD fabric for the ponchos is is a heavier fabric so it doesn't uh, it doesn't gather up as tightly as the regular fabrics do. So you could use this 24 inch with any of the ponchos actually. We, we put the uh, runner in the very same way in the HD poncho as we do with the others and uh, like I say, it's just a little bit, takes a little bit more. Once you, once you do it a little bit, you just realize you just, instead of like with the regular ponchos, you gather up a bunch and then pull it. With the HD poncho, you, each time you shove it forward, then you pinch on that and then pull it back. So every time you shove it, you're pulling back on it. So I can just shove a stick or a carabiner or whatever I want down there just to keep from pulling that far in through. Every so often you'll you shove a little harder on it to gather it a little bit, see like that. That's what, that's what keeps giving you the space to keep going. Pull my stick out. And there's my ends just like on the regular poncho. Now, so, what you want to do is securely, you don't want to pull these back out. What I do is I, see this right here is the center strap. So, I just try to make, get that center strap right there at the bottom when you pull on that. And that's good enough right there. Now I'm even. Okay, so, we're the same, this is the same size poncho as the other one we put up so same settings work they loosen up the other end just to make it easier but now you see there we are 
Right, so, so I loosened this other end up a little to make it a little easier when I was setting it up. But there we go, we're set up, ready to get in it now. One thing you'll notice here is by using these 24 inch, it doesn't gather this down really tight like normal. This makes a much easier fit when you lay in this thing. It's not gathered as tightly at the head and foot. It actually makes a more comfortable lay. Well, the, hear me grinding on the brush. <laughs> One thing nice about the HD ponchos is who cares? <laughs> raise this up just a little. It's so hard to do, you know. There we go. Oh, one of the one of the differences I didn't mention was we do need to tighten this up a little between the other uh, poncho that we did as a hammock and the light the other one and this one because the other one used 10 inch runners this is used 24 so it puts us a little longer so I had a that's why I just had to add a little bit more tightness to it because the runners are longer. Remember I told you that the uh, ponchos are it's part of a, the poncho shelter system. And so we have a fleece liner and an Osni cloak are two items that snap in to the poncho. And you can wear them with the poncho for extra insulation. You can also leave them snapped in here as the hammock to have a lined hammock. The fleece works really nice for that. Give you a fleece lined hammock. Well, you can also, the Osni cloak, you can also snap around the outside to make an underquilt. You can also use, we actually have a dedicated underquilt that you can also do that with. Or you can also take our blankets and, uh, and you can hook our blanket up to make a complete cocoon wrap. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you pull your blanket out and to be honest with you, I would only recommend this, doing this with the PSBL, the large blanket, just because you got to have enough extra to kind of make everything go around and it's, it's doable, but it's a little tougher to do with the smaller blankets. Now, so the first thing you got to do is figure out, uh, like the large blanket is roughly seven feet by eight feet. So you need you want the long end running lengthwise with your hammock. And so all you do is look on here and you'll when you run down your blanket you'll see a you'll see a seam right here. See a, a sewn seam right there. None of the fabric is big enough to do all in one piece, so we have to we have to piece it together, sew it together. So when you find that, that's you just think of it, the two pieces are what makes this thing long enough to be eight feet long. Now this is a PSSL poncho HD. So this poncho is going to be eight feet long. So I know the poncho is as long as the blanket. So I'm just going to start with my blanket right here at about the end and then we'll do a little connecting here. Every every blanket comes with two shock cords like this. Now in the bottom of my bag for my blanket. I usually keep a couple of these, two or three of these uh, easy clip middies. This is not the small size, this is the, the midi size. And this is the size that works best for clipping the blanket to the poncho. Okay, so now that I know that I'm, as I showed you before, I know I hold my end of my blanket even with the end of the poncho. Then I'm just going to take this clip and it doesn't matter which way you put it on. It's got teeth on one side and smooth on the other but it doesn't really matter. Put it on there and then you just squeeze it and it'll click and that locks it in place. This is the side you're going to enter and exit the hammock from. That's the side you want to clip this on. Okay and then I'll come down here onto this one. And you see I'm matching up with the end of the 
hammock here. And it doesn't really matter exactly where you put this. I like to put it kind of in thirds, basically. And all it's doing is holding this edge up um, for when you get in and out and to just to hold it up there so it'll keep it secure for you so this edge here isn't hanging down. Now that's all there is, okay? That is clipped. Okay, so now what I do is I grab the blanket and I'm going to bring it around. So the idea is it clipped on the front, goes underneath, around, up over the top, and back down, and that totally encloses you. Okay, so, so now here's the, here's the edge, here's the front edge, the one we clipped, and then this one's the one that goes all the way around. So what you want to do, you just want to pull a little bit extra over here because you want it to be able to you want this thing to drape over you and uh, to close down over you. So once you've got that, you can play with this when you've set your first one up. Then you just take the rest of it, literally. Literally just take the rest of it and gather it up. Set that back just a little bit. Okay. So I've literally just gathered the end of that. And I take my shock cord here and I go around it. I haven't snugged it up yet so I can kind of do a little adjusting if I want. And so when you look at the shock cord right here, hopefully you can see that, I basically just went through the loop that it made. And you just grab the knot at the end and you zip it, pull it down. That pulls really tightly around the blanket and that will hold it in place so it can't go anywhere. Alright, so this is literally, this is literally a cocoon, a wrap. This is what we did before we ever did Osni cloaks and, and uh, under quilts and all that sort of thing. And I'm going to tell you, this is a very, very warm way to sleep in this hammock. And it's really simple, as you can see. It's very easy to set up. This, all of our, all of our gear is designed to work together, designed to work with the ponchos, you know, and the ponchos is a hammock and whatever else. It's all designed to work together. This works really well. You can use it just like this. You can throw. I've done before in cold, cold weather. I've thrown another blanket like a small, like a regular size or whatever like fold put that inside of here to lay on have all this around me and I am totally in here totally good to go all right so to get inside of here you just lift up this one edge the one that's running around the back and you just kind of push it behind you a little bit that's what I do all right so you see now I'm all the way inside and uh, I'm creating my own environment inside of here so that all the this everything here now is breathable. So as I breathe, I'm not, you know, air air can permeate this thing, but I'm maintaining as much heat as I possibly can inside of here by breathing the air inside of here that gets warmed by me being in here. And as you can see, I'm all the way inside in a cocoon type situation. And uh, it is so much warmer inside here than it is outside already, even though I just barely got in here. It's really, truly amazing. And this is actually, this is one of my favorite setups. It's, it's really nice. If you've got a poncho and a blanket, you can pull this off so easy. To put it back on, I just shove it. I just shove everything through the middle of it like that. I'm going to loosen this up just to make it easier to get hung at first. Okay, I got my loop right there. I shove my spike through it. Take and uh, put my elastic on it like that. I tension this thing up 
because I loosened it, remember when I undid it? Okay, now I just take this end right here and I zip that down snug, keeps the bugs out on that end. I've got a piece of cordage right here that I just, I just tie it up around right above where the spike goes in. Something like that right there. I am now hooked up. Here. Let's get in here. Push everything back behind me. You see, you can push that bug nut clear off the end just like that. Now, I get in the hammock. I just sit up and grab this thing. Now, this will be the trick here. Oh yeah, I think I good. So now I just get out here to the end. And I just draw that up. Now I just take my blanket and pull it on around me. So now I'm all the way inside with the bug net on. Then to get out of here, you just uh, grab the cord lock and you just uh, pull it down here to loosen it. You take your hands and you spread it like that. Then you let it just kind of hang down so it hangs down underneath your hammock. You sit up a little bit and you throw that thing off down to the end of your hammock. And bam, I'm done. That ain't hard at all, man.